I'm Dr. Bram Slagmar. I'm, uh, I'm a research scientist at the ANU and working on high sensitive optical interferometry. The experiment we're working on here is to investigate the measurement of Newtonian noise. Newtonian noise is caused by a density changes in the surroundings. So even a, a, a big truck travels past the highway, then the mass in that truck will change the local uh, gravity density. And we're building a sensor here, which basically is able to measure that change. Um, at design sensitivity with our instrument, we should be able to measure any any car within the ACT driving around. The torpedo is an experiment which uses two torsional pendulums uh, suspended from a single suspension point. The track driving past on the road next to us will, cha will change the local gravity gradient and the two torsion bars will individually get rotated slightly differently due to that change in gravity and because and then if we measure the angle between the two then we can reconstruct where the track was driving past. Once we measure the Newtonian noise around the gravitational wave detectors we can use that signal to uh, subtract from our uh, gravitational wave signal uh, and then improve the sensitivity at those frequencies. In the experiment we're using a motor and both output are used as a signal generating running at uh, 54 megahertz and full blast at 10 dBm and they will drive a um, EOM electro-optic modulator, one over here and the other one over there. And they're providing sidebands on the laser light uh, which then provide us with a um, error signal to control the cavity length. The MOKU is a very versatile instrument and the operation of the signal generator we use is very straightforward. We can use the iPad to interface with the MOKU, change parameters, uh, modify the phase, change the frequency it comes out of it, and then sync it to our other signal generators. The MOKU has been running for six months and continuously and with no issues whatsoever. Uh, it provides with a stable uh, frequency reference for modulators.